what's going on YouTube welcome back to the Megan Mo show it's a yeah boy and I just got a comment with a yeah hell yeah brother let's get after it a chicka chicka wood wood chicka chicka yeah how many of, many of y'all remember me saying that all the damn time? Back in the day, chicka chicka wood wood, chicka chicka yeah! So while we enjoy the day of riding and the beautiful desert scenery of Johnson Valley let's talk about something that you know, we either A, don't think about, or B, you might think about when the time comes, but it don't have a perspective on, or want somebody else's perspective on. So, uh, buying new versus used car parts or bike parts or anything, right? Um, in some instances, no off-road riding, private. Okay, I won't go that way then. In some instances, yes, buying used car parts, bike parts, whatever, you know, I'm not against it, right? Like, if you don't have a whole lot of money and you just need to get your bike fixed or your car fixed for the time being to get you by until you can actually buy a new part that you need, I'm all for it. And, uh, I mean, heck, you gotta do what you gotta do in order to uh, be able to go out and ride or be able to get back and forth to work or whatever. Especially when your bike or your vehicle aren't working right. Or your it's not running right. I'm all for it, but at the same time, I'm the type of person that's like, you don't know the history of that used part. You could sit there and listen to the owner and say this, that, the other, whatever, about whatever it is, but that doesn't make it any more or less true or false. You see what I'm saying? So, now, like, I can understand maybe, like, certain parts, car parts, like, uh, or bike, like, uh, damn it, why am I having a hard time talking right now? Um, maybe things like bumpers, grills, wheels. Not tires for the most part, but like the actual wheels. Uh, for dirt bikes, like maybe like the plastics, uh, handlebars, gas tanks, you know, as long as it doesn't leak. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, that or swing arms, frames, stuff like that. I can understand, but engine parts, I would not buy used engine parts myself. No matter how broke I am, 
I'll borrow money or just wait until I can buy new. You know, I can. I'll just wait until I can buy new, afford to buy new stuff. At that point, the wing it comes to engines, transmissions, drivetrains. You don't really ever want to buy used, because again. used engine and transmission parts yeah they might be all good and dandy and they might be affordable compared to new but at the end of the day who's to know only god knows what's up with that part Like I said in my, at the end of my last video, I'm going to end up doing some stuff to my truck even though it's not a build. So, if like, if I turn around and sell my stock bumper, stock grill, stuff like that. You know, for a cheap price to somebody just to recoup some of my money back and maybe give somebody a better price on that same thing because maybe like they got, maybe they have a 2012 F-150 like I do that got no accident, that they got no accident or somebody hit their truck when they were sitting in when they were at the grocery store and the truck was in the parking lot and it'd be cheaper for them to buy you know my stock used front bumper for like a hundred bucks uh, than it would be for them to uh, Hold on for a second, let me get through some of this shit. Alright, you know what? I gotta take my goggles off. I gotta take my goggles off, I can't ride for shit right now with these. Glasses and goggles are f fogging up because it's so cold out here. Got up to 42 degrees right now. Feels great out here. I ain't complaining. Just can't see for shit. But because sometimes people don't want to buy aftermarket parts for their trucks, cars, whatever. And they want to buy, you know, stock style parts. Because I know like on my, on my truck, I don't know what the cost is per se right off the top of my head for a new stock bumper for my truck but I can only imagine that it's going to be at least a thousand dollars and not everybody's got a thousand dollars to spend on a brand new stock front bumper so if you could find a stock front bumper to your F-150 or whatever vehicle you got for like 150, 200 bucks that's not all chewed up and bent and dented and all that shit oh shit Well, they can 
at the end of the day, it's not a bad deal. Because I'll tell you one thing. With me, for example, Yeah, for me, for an example, some of the parts that I'm looking at to get for my truck are expensive as shit. And they're aftermarket parts. So of course, aftermarket's gonna sometimes be just as much, if not more, than stock parts. But exact if I get parts that I'm that I want for my truck, the exact parts for 25 to 50 percent the cost, I'd be happier than a pig in shit. But that's not going to necessarily happen. Let's see here, analyze, analyze. Uh, I kind of see the line that I want to take. And this is where, like I said in my last video, I'm no pro, but I have a little bit of experience. So I'm in first right now. Second. It's just way too goddamn soft. Alright. I started in first way down there. Shifted to second, shifted up to third. Got about right there and just... It's just way too soft. And see, I don't know, maybe you could see it now, this silver gray looking shit right here on the sand it's all frost it's how cold it is out here <laughs> Whew. but yeah it's a uh, you know buying used parts is not a bad thing i'm definitely not against it when when necessary uh, stop rolling uh. Front brake, just a little bit. Uh, are you in gear? Probably. All right, now you're not. I don't give a damn what you say, bro. Whew. Who said riding dirt bikes is not exercise? Okay, no, you're not out of gear. Just pulling the clutch. Uh. But it all depends.
Again, I know this is probably like a dumbass topic, like you didn't come. I mean, people aren't coming to my channel at all. Really for anything anyhow, but you probably didn't come to to my channel to hear me talk about car parts and bike parts. Uh, I gotta check this shit out. Lever and gear. You're wanting to roll. Okay. That ain't gonna work. Uh, I was gonna try to give you all some fun trails to watch. But I could get up that, but just no goddamn run up. Oh, I could do it. I can do this. That's way too. Why are you leaking gas? Oh, that's over the overflow. Never mind. I was gonna say I just rebuilt the carburetor on this motherfucker. There's no reason why I should be fucking leaking gas, but it's just from the overflow. Ah. Struggle bus. Hey, look, there's a rat's nest right there. All those twigs and shit next to those rocks. See, this is where the pros come and show us. People like me show us up. I'm gonna probably just take the bitch way around if there is a bitch way around. I don't know, don't care. Oh, that's doable. These King of the Hammers trails are just relentless, dude. No wonder why you need a goddamn four-wheel drive to get through some of these things. Basically, I mean, I, uh, that's all I really have to say about that. Because Mama always said life is like a box of chocolates and you never know what you're going to get. Well, when you go to get after it, then you'll know what the hell you're getting after. Like me right now. I'm getting after it on my favorite rocket ship. And I know what I'm getting. A goddamn good time and some beautiful views of the desert.
another video I'm probably saying this way too late and 99% of the people that clicked on this video are probably gone by now except for that one or two people that might actually they're actual good honest people that want to be here to watch my shenanigans and see this kind of BS that I'm doing I got a stupid idea and I shouldn't do it but I'm going to anyways and the stupid idea is going through a place I've never been for through a deep ass canyon okay uh maybe I'm gonna just puts it through here real quick. Yeah, see? Just in case I gotta do a foot challenge. Yeah, I can't already tell. That's just gonna get way too. Thank God I saved that. That was my bike's warning saying, hey, dumb fuck, don't go in there. Don't do that. That hurt. my fucking knee too dude ow that hurt it's got another beer can't fix does that count as a crash I don't know exactly where I'm at. Cool. Ah. 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 Woohoo! I survived. Some more of the king of the hammer shit. my knee up on that launch uh. Uh. ow yeah that did not feel good on my right knee I don't know what the fuck happened I think I I know there was a there was a rock right there and I was trying to just barely uh, try to get around but apparently there was more rocks there and it just freaking long I said fuck this shit and it kind of caught me off of guard bro off guard uh, so like I said my last moto vlog prior to this you might be a I might be riding for 20 years but that doesn't mean I won't fall once in a while uh, you know, I'm overheated I got my jacket on and uh yeah just uh 
All right, I gotta find out where. Okay, oh, I see my truck way over there. It's just a little white dot. Cause I saw those guys. Okay, I know where I'm at. Next hill climb right there, one of those two. Anyways, I gotta go, I gotta pee and then uh, grab a beer and start another video. Love y'all. Peace.